it, and Jill converts. Welcome into the first of many kennel conversations. Exactly how we expect it to be, about a million feet apart, but we're playing it safe, we're having our masks on. So excited to be joined by Jill Townsend, just a casual WCC reigning player of the year, <laughs> and the first women's basketball player here at Gonzaga to be named to a preseason national award watch list. Did you expect when you committed to Gonzaga that eventually you would be making history like that? Absolutely not. Um, you know, it's always good to have like lofty goals for yourself, but when I was coming to Gonzaga, like I had no idea um, really that anything the journey took me on. Um, it was just so surprising and I really didn't expect it, you know, waking up and seeing that stuff. So it's cool, a little nod, I guess. Yeah, just a little nod. <laughs> you played just about every sport in high school and you excelled. There's soccer, there's track, there's softball, and obviously basketball. But I want to know what kind of hidden talents you might have. So I played a lot of sports, um, but I also uh, played the piano growing up since like I was in second grade all the way through high school. Currently, I uh, bought myself a uke and my old piano teacher just sent me some sheet music and stuff. So I'm kind of teaching myself how to play the uke. Um, I read all the time, watch a lot of movies. You grew up on a ranch. What was your basketball court like and playing with your brothers? Yeah, oh, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. So my dad, we had a, a patio outside our house. And my dad made like a, a homemade hoop. Um, I'm not even sure we found the backboard, the rim, just not even 10 feet, I don't think. I think it was a little higher than 10 feet. Me and my brothers, and I had a whole bunch of cousins. and. Um, and I had only one other girl cousin, and then the rest were boys. And I had, there was a bunch of us all at the same age, and so we'd play pickup basketball like all night. We'd, uh, we'd actually put like floodlights up on the roof of the house that pointed down into the court, and so we'd play like all night, just pickup games and stuff. Keeping it on the basketball court, favorite spot to shoot on the court? Um, I'm gonna say the wing uh, from three. Least favorite spot to shoot. Least favorite. I am not good at the uh, corner, like baseline. <laughs> Got it. Okay, what's something you would splurge money-wise on? Books. I just went and spent like a lot of money on books last night, actually. Oh, love it. <laughs> okay, game day essential. What do you have to have? Uh, a nap uh, and coffee. What's your coffee order? I get a Americano uh, with hot sweet caramel and 2%. You grew up in Washington. Gonzaga, legendary women's basketball program. Who's your favorite former Zag growing up? I mean, I feel like I have to say Courtney Vandersloot. I was here at the kennel when they were playing here um, and they went to Sweet 16 and Elite 8 at the kennel. I came to those two games um, that she played, so it was pretty cool watching. It's pretty cool watching you too. <laughs> Thank you for being the first of our kennel conversations. Yeah. This was a lot of fun. Thank you.